The only chance I've got of staying alive is to stay dead. Find out who wants to kill me. And why. If you had any sense, which you don't, you'd get to an airport and into an ambulance at the other end. No. I've got to see a detail. But, Lou, you can't go much further. I've been hammered before. That was one border I was glad to cross. shift system. It's never night. It's never day either. Just sweat and money. And idiots on the run. Like us. Not exactly the plushest joint in town. I thought you said Dieter made a lot of money. He does. None of the people who use places like this. Immigrants. I've never seen a ghetto that didn't need a coat of paint. You see what's happening. I'm sorry, we didn't know. Oh, you know that. We're looking for a man called Dieter. I was told he'd be here. He would be. Come to smile. You know him? By my side. This is from Alsace, his right hand smashed. Uh, what else do you know about him? Contract hooligan, sometimes private company policeman. He cracks heads for money. Oh, if you know that much about him, you can see him somewhere else. No, leave them. Dieter will come anyway. The big one's hurt. Who are you? Me? I'm nothing. I'm a guest worker. Immigrant labor. In Vandrari. One of the outside coolers who was mug enough to ask for a passport and rent through when the boiler making packed up there. Thank you. Give me the gun, Crow. Why don't you leave that to me? Because Dieter will be dead sure I'll use it. I thought I would pay my respects. Maybe contribute to the burial fund, even. Maslow, we've had strikes and troubles and arguments, and you've been mixed up with most of them. How many thick foreign skulls do I have to crack before you learn? Try mine, Dieter. Call your mongos off. On your belly's nearest. Here. We'll have the right hand out of the pocket. Old time's sake, that's huh? right. I'm almost glad to see you, Bennett. They told me you were dead. Now I can make sure. If you can, you've tried once. Before you try again, I want you to do something for me. I want you to sell me to Mr. Milton Webber. It'll cost you one phone call to Detroit and you can make a lot of money. I'm doing pretty well. Maybe I'd rather have you in a box like that. So I call Weber myself, or he does. And when Weber finds out, that's the end of you. Stay small time, Dieter, it's safer. It won't be for you. Why me? Because he'll need your sort of proof he'll believe a professional Judas. How will he find you? He won't, I'll find him, London. Raw suite at his usual hotel. It'll be a pleasure.
I'm buying this. I've never seen Dieter anywhere near that frightened before. How do you know him? I smashed his hand. He had a blowtorch and I had a pig handle. I didn't fancy being burned blind. That was eight years ago in the Rhone estuary. The main contractors had a penalty clause on me and they've hired him to frighten the skilled labor off. I've... I've seen Dieter's coffins before. And now you won't even get out of this town. There's an airport and railway station, isn't there? Where the local police will pick you up. Dieter does favors for them, odd jobs. Uses the methods they'd like to use and can't. We make trouble, Dieter fixes. The police can look the other way and go home to their wives. This is a slum for two-legged cattle. Once you're in it, you've got another kind of law. I'm giving this information to you instead of to the inspector because I don't want you to stay a sergeant for the rest of your life. These are dangerous men. They threatened me. They are. This has happened before. And I have always asked the police to take care of it. We have always worked together. I want you to close the airport, the main roads, and the railway station. Routine. You've got the descriptions. Two men. One of them is called Burnett. This so better not be just a personal matter. Oh, it isn't. Sergeant, one of my jobs here is to keep an eye on the labor force that can't be bothered to learn the language, sends most of its money home, and lives like pigs. That's our job, too, officially, but not as well paid. So, accept help and advice. Sergeant Hauser, I know Burnett. If he's wandering around with a gun talking to people like Laszlo, you'll have riots. Nasty ones. Believe me. Good enough. I will make the necessary arrangements. Yes. Speaking. Yes, that's right. I did place a call to Detroit. Thank you. Hello. I want to leave a message for Mr. Weber. Yes, now please listen carefully so that you get it right. This is Hans Dieter. Tell him Lou Burnett is alive. Burnett used to have something that Mr. Weber wanted badly. I've got Burnett. I'm telling you, they'll never get out. It can't be done. Send somebody to fetch Joseph. You want food? No, I sir. <clears throat> I don't hold it down very well. If you'll excuse me. Laszlo's son. The boy, the name's Day, got a bit drunk, a bit loud. And they say he had a knife. He was in a pub where we're not allowed, and Dieter organizes the bouncing. Three of Dieter's boys threw him out. When they found him, he was two miles away and had been lying in a gutter for an hour with a native stepping over him. Just another drunken immigrant. Then he died. And Dieter put another notch in the truncheon. He must have fallen heavily, they said. The inquest took three minutes. The money in the coffins to send them back to Yugoslavia. What the hell do you expect? You can read the quote in Time magazine. The niggers of Europe. Us. Well, the kiddies have built the Wirtschaft Funder. And now the economic miracle's over, we'll just scrap heat for her. So the bosses really need the Dieters now. I'm back. I hope your little recording machine still works. The only way I could get anything out of the Dutchman was to offer him money to lift Burnett from prison. <laughs> it's nice dealing with honest men. He said he'd already taken the money and Burnett was out. In Germany, needing a hospital. So, um, dig up a list. Anybody Burnett might know in that part of the world? Give me your airline tickets. In ten minutes, Josef will hand these tickets into the police station. To Sergeant Hauser, Josef, you'll tell Hauser that these tickets were left in your taxi by two men who you drove along the Hamburg road to a place they said, and another car picked them up. Ten minutes, Josef. Be sure of it. They'll still watch the airport and the railway station, but the road they'll block is the Hamburg one. Now you go the other way. He has left his two mongols outside. There's another one at the back. Move them. Another disturbance of the peace by foreigners. I must stay with my son. The Scotsman will drive you. 
Thank you. Dieter will kill your friend. This I know. Unless you kill Dieter first. Perhaps. Travel well. And you let it happen. Here are the airline tickets made out to Crow and Burnett. Josef found them on the floor of the taxi, brought them to me as a law-abiding citizen should. Josef brought them to you. He was Laszlo's cousin. And you believed him? There are the tickets. And I closed the Hamburg Road according to procedure and information received. And that's why you'll stay a sergeant for the rest of your life. The rule book. Anyone could have seen it. Laszlo's immigrant network. More your concerns than mine, Dieter. And what about those two men of mine they beat up? Inquiries are proceeding. It is difficult to find witnesses. Uh, dumb peasants. They have to stick together. It's the only way they survive. Not if I can help it. What are the rules about shipping out coffins? Strict. Her Ullman is the one to talk to. Uh, over a case or two of wine, huh? I think I might have an ulcer. Could be nerves, Milt. Or irritation. Dieter, I don't like traveling at short notice. My employers don't like it. Mr. Weber, when I telephoned you, it was in good faith. There was no way they could get clear. They did, and now we play Burnett's rules. Did he tell you the stakes, Dieter? No. Two million dollars. You see why I'm not pleased. The Burnett is sick. He could hardly stand. I'll find him for you. If we need Burnett finding, Shapiro will do it. You've uh, met Joe? Yeah, I say. Then you know enough not to compete. He's a long way out of your class. And quieter. Dieter, you're a paid frightener. What's your price for helping? No, not money. Just Burnett. On a platter. But only when I say so, and not until. I might argue with that. I wouldn't. Never refuse offers of help, Joe. It's unbusinesslike. You can have Burnett, Hans, my old friend. When I've finished with him. It's all right, Father. That was too close, Lou. I'm getting slow. I didn't realize Dieter moved so far up. It's a hooligan's world. <laughs> well, he'd have come after me sooner or later. At least now it's sooner, and I know about it. Oh, I could tell you about a dozen like him. Only six months ago, I'd forgotten they all existed. Why is Weber so important? The machine. Knowledge, access to deals, the stuff lifted from filing cabinets late at night. <clears throat> there must be easier ways of getting it than sticking your neck out with Dieter. No, no. Weber's special. And careful, he doesn't move a muscle without proof. Even when he wants someone badly like the deal I've got. Oh, it, uh, it says investment consultant in his passport. Well, the firm he consults for used to be called the, the Mafia, the mob. Of course, you don't use words like that nowadays. 
Otherwise, the Association of Italian Americans sends you a petition. We'll beat you around the head with the publicity from the Godfather. Oh, Weber's bright. Pays his taxes, belongs to the right clubs. And all the business he sets up is respectable. Except uh, for the financing. Mm, I know the setup. Oh, he, um, he travels with a removal man called Shapiro. Uh, just about the best there is. Dieter doesn't bother me, but. Well, if I had to be frightened of anybody, I'd be frightened of Shapiro. Two Englishmen. May have looked a bit rough. No, not in here. We don't get many tourists. These weren't tourists. I hear you've been having red tape trouble, Maslow. You should know. Pity. All that money you collected so that your son could be buried in his own country, and now it's no good to you. Not collected. Given. And it can be returned. Next time, you won't be so quick to help people. Who did they help? Two Englishmen. And now Laszlo can't get his son shipped home. When's the funeral going to be, Laszlo? A little while before yours. Do you know these two Englishmen? One of them is called Burnett. Tell me what you want them for. I want him for the same reason as you. It's a London hotel. You'll be meeting somebody called Weber. Thanks. I appreciate this. Not as much as I do. I like the idea of Burnett's past catching up with him. I like to think of him running. You should have told me. Made yourself some money. Sounds as if you might need it. Never badly enough to sell people. You said there was a message. From the young bloke with this Burnett. I didn't need money for help. Well, he said that, too. He just said the airline tickets are expensive and so is living in London. There's a telephone number on the envelope. If Dieter moves and you feel like joining, ask for Turtle. Hello, Dr. Carley. And goodbye. I looked at you for three weeks over a planning appeal table. That was enough. Another one of your friends. Are you a doctor? Yes, I am. Then take a good look at him and let him sit down. Then you can give me a telephone and the number of an ambulance service. I once owned a clinic for old people which did a great deal of good work. The man you're with had it demolished. And paid you twice the going rate for compensation so you could set up another. You picked a country house instead. And a dozen old people died before their time. And I got a reservoir built. I still owe you no favors. I don't want any. I want professional treatment from somebody I can trust. And you think you can trust me? I know I can. I watched you for three weeks as well. Strange, straightforward mentality you have, Mr. Burnett. Well? Well, you better come inside. Listen. This information has to be good. It's from somebody who hates Burnett as much as you do. He's hurt and gone to ground. When he comes out, I know exactly where he's going. All I have to do is take a hotel room and wait. The place is pretty well equipped. My husband was an invalid for seven years. One of the reasons why Mr. Burnett's high compensation was acceptable. Dr. Carley, I used to be in the insurance business. I know most of the methods. The insulin overdose that doesn't show up in post-mortems. The air bubble and embolism that makes it look like thrombosis. Don't take me for a fool, Mr. Crow. This is a sedative. You rest, I can check the tests and then carry out other treatment. Who gave you this beating? I was in a prison. How long ago? Eight, eight days. You should be dead by now. What did they use on you? An expert called Grotson. Be interesting to know what happened to him. He's dead. Crow, you'll have to go and see Weber. You know what we want. Tell him to start the machine. And tell him we're in a hurry. It's got to be this week or no deal. Can't be done. You need a month in bed. I haven't got a month. It'll give you a chance to prove how good a doctor you are. 
Go on, Crow, I'll be all right. Typical. Half clenched. What's the hand curled round, Mr. Burnett? Contract? Crowbar? Just rest. Not resting. Waiting. Hello, uh, I, I want to speak to Mr. Turtle. Uh, yes, I will wait. Uh, uh, hello, uh, I am Laszlo. Uh, Mr. Crow said uh, that I must uh, speak to you if I want to reach him. Yes, I understand this. So I will wait and telephone again. Eh? Uh, th thank you. All we have to do is wait. You worry about the temperature of the Perrier water. Oh, no, they always get that right here. Did you uh, ask the hall porter about the exhibition at the v &A? Yeah, he's having a catalog collected for you. Good. Mr. Weber. They're supposed to announce people. You must be Shapiro. I have a message from Lubinette. Let him in, Joe. I only want to deliver a message. I don't want to dance with you. Very good, Mr. Crow. This time. Any time. And if anybody's going to maul me, there's a lady receptionist downstairs who's first. Oh, I've seen that one. Admirable. the deal. Lou didn't tell me your end of it, just what he wants, 30,000 pounds. A full intelligence survey in depth on Burnett Construction International. He wants facts, figures and beneficiaries. A complete report on company progress at BCI over the last six months. He said he'd like it this week. And I like a share of the crown jewels. Have you any idea what a good intelligence survey looks like? What it costs? How you get it? Vague idea. In this amount of time, it could take about 20 trained people and cost about $100,000. But it can be done. Oh, sure. But not without the prospect of some return. Lou said you'd know that return. He'll still lose money on the deal. This research must be very important. Life or death, as they say. Well, you can always play a George Raft and spin a coin to find out which. We know which, Mr. Crow. It's up to us. We make the decisions. Burnett didn't tell you what we get in return for all this? No. Oh, Lou, still shrewd. He must worry about you. But leave the raincoat at home next time? That's good advice, Mr. Crow. That'll be uh, room service with my catalog. Yeah. Oh, it's you, Hans. Come in, we've been expecting you. Lesson number one, manners. Call from downstairs. Knock on the door and announce yourself loud and clear. This is a business operation, not a goddamn visiting ladies' tea salon. All right, Joe, you'll know in future. It'd be safer, Hans, doing as Joe asks. 
I saw Cor in the corridor. Burnett has contacted you? Yes. He will keep me informed, and then I will kill him. Only when we're ready. I hope that will be soon. Joe, you allow yourself two drinks a day. Pour one now. You're getting edgy. No need. Nothing for you to do. Wouldn't count on it. Crow's not on Burnett's payroll as a butler, you know. Pour your drink. I'll organize a fast research team for this survey Burnett wants. Lose a businessman, Joe. He's selling a deal we want and we're buying. Mutual satisfaction time. Firm handshakes, bright smiles, goodbye. Just like real estate. Look, why don't you have yourself a holiday? This is London. Take in a concert or two, go to the ballet. Pick up the new Shakespeare season. Well, hang around if you don't mind, Milt. The policemen here don't carry guns. Makes me nervous. Mr. Kraft tried. No wages in it, just to help a friend. I can fix the wages. There's no need to. You want an every squad. Right. Any other time, I could get one for you, but not if it's this long. It keeps saying in the newspapers they haven't reached London yet. Don't you believe it? And the word's gone round on a Shapiro customer, and his friends, and the money they've got. I I'm sorry, Mr. Crow, but... Any other time, I could find you hooligans who jump on every third customer from here to Land's End. But not against this lot. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Crow, but if Shapiro's in it, you're on your own. Ah, uh, it was worth a try. Thanks, anyway. Well, these foreign geese are still calling. He keeps saying Dieter's in London. I know that already. He reckons he talked to Quentin first. What if I do if he rings again? At least someone's on our side. Give him this address and then tear it up. What if he's too late? All he's lost is bus fare. Peter, all you've done is finger Burnett for us. I think you have. In fact, you're a messenger boy. You're not even owed for that. There was no price asked, Mr. Weber, only what you said. When you finished with Burnett, I could have him. Now, that's perfectly true, Hans. So why don't you just check in tomorrow by telephone? Stop dropping by every day because I'm not finished yet. And there's a lot of work to do before I am. To kill Burnett would be in your in... They never learn, Joe. They won't realize the times have changed. I work for a certain organization, and investment consulting is what I do. Dieters think it's the old days. The Chicago typewriter isn't a machine gun anymore. It's what it says. It's something you use to write letters on. Most of the time, it's twice as effective. My advice is another two weeks in bed, at the very least. Somewhere else. I like the cooking here. But I'm tired of doing it, and also I have a group practice to run. I made arrangements for you to be checked in at a perfectly respectable nursing home. I mean, it's not on the taxi driver's list. It's called St. Catherine's, and you'll ask for Sister Graham. The internal bleeding has stopped, and the X-ray showed that the ribs are mending. Try not to let anyone hit you for a while. That may not be as easy as he thinks. I mean it. He was very lucky this time. So try and take care. You mean it matters? Scientific interest in your capacity for survival. Also, you talked quite a lot whilst you were under sedation. There may be some ways in which I've misjudged you. So when I say take care, I mean it. I'll buy you dinner sometime, say in a year. That should give me time to get to the hairdressers. Lou, let me go and see whether, if you walk in there, I don't think you'll walk out again. You're up against a tough triangle, Lou, Dita, Shapiro and Quentin, and I can't find an ounce of protection I need this that time. research. I need to know what's yes, happening. Yes, but not this badly. This time you'll end up really dead. Well, that's knowledge for you. It's never cheap. Here, hang on to that. And wait in the hotel lobby while I'm in with Weber. That's better insurance than Lloyd's. Yes, I'm expecting Mr. Burnett. Ask him to come up.
I thought the word had gone out and no interference. Not to me. He was in Germany, looking for Bennett. Well, this is a popular boy. Need to take Pally here in the next room and watch him. Your name's Quentin, isn't it? If you say so. I've heard about you. This better be good, Lou. My time, that document, plus 30,000 pounds. It is, because it's simple. When friend Castro kicked you out, Havana stopped being a city-sized knocking shop. And you needed space, fix, influence elsewhere in the Caribbean. Well, you got some, but not enough, am I right? And elegantly put, but true. Some surveys were made by us in the British West Indies. Newly independent, needing investment money. <laughs> Casinos are a good investment. Let's not draw pictures, Lou. You've got two companies and five blocks of land. We offered two million, you turned it down. Your estate won't sell either. I told you it was simple. I couldn't and they can't. Then why should I hand this over? Because I can tell you how to buy. I'll tell you how I got the land in the first place. There's a private contract, which gives a local group first option on the lot. How private is this contract? Very, and under a very large table. When you're a civil servant or a police chief or in a government where they call the nation emergent, Nobody's going to guarantee your pension, so you guarantee your own. Graft? Insurance. How many people? Six. Still with the same influence? Three of them. The others need the money. And I need their private contract. That's right. All you have to do is give me a list of names and details of contract. That's right. Hello, Joe. How's the body and concrete block business? As usual, turnover equals demand. Stop the kidding, Lou. I want that list. And I want to get out of here in one piece. The list in the lobby. Now you bring the money and the research. You can check the list and the contact details. We'll make the switch down there. Why not? Crow's holding it. I can take it off him. Joe, how many times have I told you it's a mistake to let personalities enter into a straightforward business transaction? Eighty-three. Coming right down. You'll know him. Mr. Weber's with him. That was a nasty 15 minutes. I kept expecting a goodbye note. I hope your intelligence report's worth it. Take some time to sort out. Figures, projects, prospects. By the time I've stripped it down, there should be money, or lack of it, and motive, and the finger will point to someone. It has to. They've had six months. Whoever they are. It's not the sort of risk we want to take too often. I'll get to the next room in this nursing home. You can take a rest, too. Thanks very much. real stuff, what we want. People, places, times, and facts. When Burnett was operating, he was very good. Well, even if the goods have been dummied, we still find him again. Doctors shouldn't put their names on pill bottles. Yeah? Say that again. St. Catherine Nursing Home. Got it. Look, I appreciate this. I'll see you on my way through. Right. We even know where he's going now. It's got to be a special heaven for friendly hotel porters. Efficient as usual. 
We don't need Burnett anymore. We might. That list has market value, right? I didn't buy it for his autograph. So we move in. No reason. Built. You do your work and I'll do mine. This is my department. I say we shift Burnett. If he rigged one private contract, he could rig another. Or organize it done. We need orders. No. We don't get involved. We've got two addresses for Burnett. Doctor, nursing home. We got two contract artists in there, both pros who do it for love and no tie-ups with us. Hmm? Quentin first. Quentin. Miller needs some hardware. Dieter's holding it. To the St. Catherine nursing home? No. You should. You got a friend resting there. Don't worry. You won't have to split the price on Burnett. I'll be glad to get back home. I'm running out of vitamin supplement. You need a holiday milk. All this exercise is killing me. Now, have you finished with Burnett? All yours. How? Doctor's name was treating him is on there. You can use a telephone book. Among other things. Looks like open season on Lou Burnett. I'm so full of pills, I rattle in a strong breeze. All I need is some rest and some x-rays. I'm fully aware that you have adequate medication, and patients here do not allocate their own treatment. Not so long as the bed's comfortable. If you bring flowers, wrap them around a bottle of whiskey. Well, it will be immediately confiscated. Now, if you'll come with me, I'll see that you're settled in. There'll be no need for you to come. Have to. Always read his bedtime stories. Listen, then move. Burnett was using paid cover at the hotel. I missed him. He's on his way to a nursing home. I'll find him there. Now, this could get very public. I want airline tickets to the usual place. Within the hour. I shall be back in five minutes. If you feel there's anything you need, there's a bell about the bed. Tolling for me. Very poetic. Better take your pills. Room. The pills. We'll get some more. That's not the point. I had them in Weber's room. The bottle of Jane Carly's name on it. You saw Dita. Weber will sell me. This isn't Jane Carly's fight. Dita will enjoy hurting her. You stay here. I'll go. I can move twice as fast as you can. I'll get Turtle to cover. camper from Fortnum's. Even first-class airline food brings on my sinus. Who's going anywhere? Well, we are. Work to do. Some bichy soise, smoked salmon, game pie. Say one thing for the English, they pack a good hamper. I think I'll hang around, Milt. We'll check on some things. Make sure we dealt the right cards. I hope Quentin's got the ace and he's where Burnett's really at. <clears throat> What's the difference? Pro ratings. Quentin's good enough to get by Crow, but uh, Dieter isn't. Crow is full of them. Circuit Lou come to that? Yeah, well, I think I'll hang around. Do myself in. Make sure Burnett is dead. No, that's counterproductive. 
We got what we want, and that constitutes an investment to protect. Now, what you do is organize a courier to take a photocopy of this private contract to Detroit. And we catch the next plane to the West Indies and set up preliminary negotiations. This is no time to play cowboys and Indians. There's no profit in it. If I'm expected to treat you, I shall expect you to be much less stubborn. I have instructions to sedate you. I am not being awkward, sister. I am expecting a telephone call. A receptionist is quite capable of taking messages. Not this one. Very well. But you'll at least unpack and get into bed. And consider yourself extremely lucky that Dr. Cowley is a personal friend. I like the flowers, Turtle. Nice touch. Consider it. It would have stand of Mr. Quentin, really, when you're visiting sick friends, even when they're in hospital at the Nick. Which isn't like this at all. I'm not complaining about social injustice, mind. Stop babbling. Who's the friend? It's a sort of a friend. Of a friend. And with the mob in, you're the only watchdog Crow could find. Well, I came anyway. Now you're going. I'll leave the flowers. They might last till the funeral. Burnett would have appreciated the thought. When you see Crow, tell him he's next. You can't move me on. All right, ask for Burnett. Sit down. Look at the legs in the nice glossy magazines. When the police arrive, they'll have somebody to talk to. Big rough hands on your collar turtle. Lots of police station steps to fall down. You don't have a choice. Get lost. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Auckland. I wonder if I could see uh, Sister Graham about a patient of ours called Burnett. I'm looking for Lou Burnett. There's a doorbell at the front of the house. I don't know anyone called Burnett. Yes, you do. He may have been a patient of mine. I don't remember. This bottle is dated two days ago. Where is he? I've no idea. It would be easier for you to tell me. Plastic surgery can be effective, but it takes a long time. I don't know. Dito. Sister, I appreciate he can be a difficult man. That's why I bothered to come along here instead of asking questions on the telephone. Oh, that's the call he was expecting. I imagine so, yes. He's been abroad quite a lot, you know. I thought I'd check on any tropical diseases that might have a bearing. It's um, probably best done in person. I'll just chat to him, if uh, you don't mind, of course. Not at all, Doctor. I'll come with you. Oh, there's no real need for that, sister. I'm sure you've got much more important things to do. <laughs> um, he's in Addison, third along the corridor. Oh, much obliged, sister. Anybody with Dieter? No, he came alone. Car in lane. Are you sure? I watched, I'm sure. Dr. Carly, I want you to get on the telephone to the nursing home as quickly as you can. Get Lou Burnett out of that room. I don't care how you do it, just do it. Quickly, please. The lines were engaged. There was some sort of panic on. Then I got through and spoke to the matron. There was a man with a gun. Oh, no. Your friend? Dead? It looks like it. I'm sorry. Now I really find Quentin. Listen. Did 
Did I miss much? Oh, no. Just Quentin running loose with a gun and Dieter getting his head smashed in. You'd have been better off at the pictures. Sound glad to see me? How about the same as usual? You all right? The lady is all right. You started this. What do we do now? We? Yes. Somebody should telephone the police. Local doctor, scandal. Just for helping out? Not worth it. What else is there to do? What about him? Well, I could get a hold of Turtle to pick up a plain van, second-hand carpet, clothesline. And then a night watchman on some rubbish tip reclamation area in the Midlands. Could take an hour off to get drunk. No. Scandal or not, a man's dead. Now, what did you want 10, 15 minutes ago? Flowers in your grave or a bulldozer pushing muck over him? Get Laszlo to tell you about him. I need a telephone. There are things I can do. No. Thanks. This was not for money. I know that. Take it anyway. It's not important. You can go home now. Use it well. Perhaps it'll turn clean. Clean? Yeah, I sold six people to get it. And this. I hope it's worth it. Mind you, I've sold people before. Eggs in a crate. Some of them get smashed. But that's always later, and I'm somewhere else. It's never been anything to do with me. Thank you.